brain with one. So come along to our house, where big adventures start. Reach for the stars and you'll be a superstar of sorts. Big Cougars, first grade. Welcome to the Brightly Home. We can't wait to explore with you, so please sign in. Click these letters to spell your name. Click on the stars to color the letters. If you make a mistake, click on this eraser. Click delete if you want to remove a name. Click here to choose a brain bank. Your brain bank is where you collect all the smart stars you earn around our house. Oh, and don't forget to tell us when your birthday is right here. We'd love to celebrate it with you. You can click here to see your smart chart. It keeps track of all the stars you earn. When you're ready to start, click Let's Play. If this is your first time visiting us, enter a new name. <laughs> Enter your birthday here, then we can play. Fifth. February. March. April. May. June. July. August. If you've been here before, just click on your name and let's play. You can do amazing things at our house. Go ahead and click anywhere. There's lots to discover. Every game is a chance to earn smart stars, the sign of success. Which you can check anytime. None yet. Collect enough smart stars and you can take the Superstar of Smarts Challenge. When you click... Once you've been to a few places, Think and Go makes it easy to get around. In some activities, you can choose how hard you want it to be by clicking here. And here's the exit door. With one click, you can leave us as you please. Now let's look around and find some fun. Wherever the arrow turns into a star, there's something fun to do. And some smart stars. Painting is one of my favorite activities, so I always keep a paintbrush handy. You get different colored smart stars for different kinds of smarts. Today is a great day to think big. Click open the book of big thinkers if you want to change your brain bank or see your smart chart. <laughs> Let's go see if we have any. Wow, there are all kinds of picture postcards in here. We can put them in our Brightly album. Good thinking. I'll pull out postcards one at a time. You take each one by clicking on it. Then put it in the right place here in our album. Let's try this postcard. Owl. Here's a card from Aunt Brenda. She loved animals. Duck. What type does this look like? Place each picture where it belongs in our album. Click on this postcard to put it in our album. Mouse. Where would this one go? Cat. Here's something different. Dragonfly. I hold in my hand the last postcard for these pages. Alligator. Picture perfect. I like this picture. Hot air balloon. Cousin Billy sends word from his world travels. Rocket. Let's try this postcard. Wrap. Where would this one go? Jet. Here's a neat one. Paper airplane. Here's something different. Limp. Here's the last picture in this batch of mail. Tanker. 
It's time to cheer. You've got everything here. Yippee! Smart stars. Grandma Belle wrote us. I just love her cooking. Medium. We've got more mail now, so you'll get four smart stars if you can put it all in our album. Artist. We'll be getting lots of mail from now on, so you'll get five smart stars if you can put it all in our albums. Where would this one go? Chicken. Oh, let's see what Grandma Belle is cooking up now. Grandma Belle serves this to Grandpa all the time. Tomato. Let's try this postcard. Rice. Here's a neat one. Milk. Cheese. It's Grandma Belle. She hopes our album is coming along nicely. Wheat. Here's a neat one. Peas. Ooh, here's a good one. Bread. Fish. Let's try this postcard. Milkshake. Here's something different. Bananas. Here's a neat one. Cereal. Where would this one go? Butter. Let's try this postcard. Celery. Here's the last picture in this batch of mail. Steak. You're a sorting superstar. Let's put together some more pages in our album. Let's put some animal postcards in our album now. Aunt Brenda, sure. Time to put away our album. Hi, I'm Amelia Earhart, one of the most famous airplane pilots in history. Abraham Lincoln here. I was the 16th President of the United States. Roger Houston, now this is Neil Armstrong, you read. In 1863, I declared an end to slavery in America. In 1969, I became the first person to ever walk on the moon. I was the first woman to ever fly across the Atlantic Ocean. I once said, the best way to destroy your enemy is to make him your friend. In 1932, I flew across the Atlantic Ocean all by myself. When I stepped onto the moon, I said, one small step for a man, one giant leap for mankind. I grew up living in a log cabin in the country. I was just six years old when I first got interested in flying. When I was your age, I loved animals and I loved to read. One of my famous speeches begins, four score and seven years ago, Sometimes, the number 20 is called a score. I knew there was more fun and excitement in life than I would have time to enjoy. Roger Houston, now this is Neil Armstrong. Do you read?
we'd love to see some of your artwork in our living room. I've got all the tools you'll need for painting the canvas back there. Pick up any tool to find out what it does. I'm your palette. Click on me to choose the color you want to paint. When you're finished painting, click anywhere else in the room.